This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today we're slinging out yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application called Fotor, or uh, I think that's the only way you could pronounce that, Fotor. And this application is available for $1.99 in the App Store. So if you want to go ahead and grab it, you can play along at home while we do the review, or you can sit through this and then uh, you know go check it out yourself. But it's a really fantastic photo editing application. We've really enjoyed playing around with it because we're you know pretty partial to any kind of application that gives us creative freedom uh, to 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 artistically modify or otherwise design things from our iPhone. So we really enjoyed having this application, and uh, we, we we hope you'll see why by the end of this. But uh, just go ahead and show you a few of the effects that are involved here. Go ahead and pop these settings pane here so you can check out some of the things that are involved. This application is very professional in what it allows you to do. You can save things, export them, uh, you can edit, even edit the quality of the photos themselves to save space or to do whatever you would like with it. We also have uh, you know the sound you can turn on or off. Um, as far as sharing goes, you come with a uh, it comes excuse me with quite a lot of different uh, avenues to share things to all the standards Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. We are sad to see no Picasa or uh, any of the other sorts photo bucket, but uh, then again, you know, these are the ones that most people use, so we can't gripe about it too much, but just in terms of being an app reviewer, we have to say, oh, it'd be nice to have photo bucket, even though we might never use that. But anyway, you understand what we mean. If you want to check out more info about the company, you can hit that, or you can send them feedback with that button right there. To show you what this actually does, it's essentially a collection of various uh, photo editing utilities into one neat little package. Um, this all uses your photo gallery, or you can do the camera that comes with the application, uh, which of course we're in a dark room, so it's not going to look that great, but this does save you from actually having to go back, uh, back and forth between the standard camera and this one. It comes with a zoom, which is a handy feature. Likewise, you've got the flash on and off, so all of those things are nice. You also have the flip around for the uh, front-facing camera that's right there. So, oh, and you can, of course, do the uh, the focus just with a single tap. So it's a very nice camera. You know, we'd put it even on the same level as something like Camera Plus. This is an application that's designed to be in the same vein and in the sense of that you can take photos and then quickly edit them in a way that goes much deeper than something like Instagram or something of the sort. This comes with a lot of very professional tools. Um, so with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and just show you basically how this works. I'm going to start by just doing the basic effects and frames. If you're looking for a very basic sort of, uh, let's say... Instagram-esque, uh, you know, uh, utility, this is the way to go. You can import photos from your photo gallery. I imported that picture of myself and my girlfriend from a little while back. But instead, I'm going to go back and find another photo to do here. Um, let me go with uh, this other one of Carly, who is my lovely girlfriend. Uh, not just showing her off, I promise. We are going to uh, just use a photo that looks rather nice. So we're going to load this. You simply tap it, and now we are in the effects and, uh, you know, uh, frame sort of portion of the application. You get a whole bunch of effects down here. You've got classic, analog, Lomo, B&W for black and white, which I can pop just to show you what this thing looks like. You get a couple different options with this. You get, uh, you know, all sorts of different uh, contrast options here, which is nice. Um, do a couple other things. We've got art settings, which we can do. First, I have to go back. Um, so lots of different effects, you know, just heaps and heaps and heaps of them, which is something that we really enjoy in these kind of photo applications because we like to have a lot of options. So again, and the uh, in terms of just raw artistic ability, the, these functions, these these uh, effects, really are quite nice. They aren't cheap in any sense, so that's great. We like having that, and there are a ton of them. So again, I'm going to skip showing you the finer details of the rest of these, but they are all here. So uh, that's a nice way to go if you'd like. When you're ready to save, you simply hit the Save button up there. You can also edit this by uh, moving it left or right or doing an undo or a redo. So that's quite nice. We're going to exit out of here. And no, we do not want to save that photo. You've got a couple other options, uh, which if you're used to f uh, photo editing software on the iPhone or iPad, you're going to recognize a few of these things. Um, so for instance, I can do a collage here where I can select multiple photos and set them up via a frame, um, via like this. Or not via, I guess, like this. So I could do that if I wanted to, which I'm going to exit out of very quickly and then just kind of show you some other things. You, of course, have basic editing and cropping tools, which I'm going to skip. There are a couple of the, uh, other interesting utilities that we don't usually see in photo editing softwares for the iPhone that we liked a lot. For instance, there's a HDR effect, um, which you can boot up. If you know what this is, then uh, you're likely right at home. This is, of course, the camera that you can edit which is nice, uh, so nice HDR camera involved there. One of the other things that we really liked was the big aperture lens, which is great. This kind of simulates a DSLR camera, uh, a variety of them actually, so I'm going to go ahead and select just a photo. Here's this one. And then I can select specific settings. For instance, I can do the uh, building setting, 
and then modify the frame. So here's this, and then I can, of course, set the uh, the aperture as I like, so that's quite nice. We enjoyed that a lot. That's a unique setting that we don't see in too many other photo editing softwares, so that's really quite in, uh, you know quite handy to have around. One of the other things I'm going to show you very quickly is the one tap, one tap excuse me, enhance, which again, same thing, pick a photo. Uh, in this case, I'm going to pick this one. And then you have a couple different settings. You've got the original, which is what we're looking at right now. You can go all the way up to high to see the difference in the uh, one click. And in this instance, it's not too drastically different because the photo is pretty good to begin with. Uh, but if you need just a quick fix for a photo that's not quite right, um, that's a very handy option to have. And the filter that's on this in this application is just brilliant. Lastly, you can see albums. And I did forget there's a color splash utility, which you can use as well. So I'm going to go just sort of into this very quickly while I give you our final wrap-up. We think Photor is a brilliant application to use uh, for photo editing on the iPhone. So with that in mind, you know, with the $1.99 price tag included, we think it's a great value. That's not too much to ask for an application that does this much stuff uh, to your photos. So with all of that in mind, we are going to give Photor a 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. We think it's brilliant. And if you're into photo editing on your iPhone, then you're really going to enjoy this. And the fact that it comes with a built-in camera makes it even more of a value. So all in all, that is a solid 4 out of 5 star rating from us. And that's all we have to say about Photor. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. We'll see you guys later. Bye.